I want to spend a little bit of the last lecture on post-production marketing. And uh, one of the things that uh, makes or breaks most businesses, whether it's a greenhouse business or anything else, or especially uh, garden centers and florist shops and stuff, is, is planning. And oftentimes, when somebody comes to me and says they want to build a greenhouse, well, I ask them, what is the market? And it used to be, grow it and they'll come. And it's not that way anymore. It's now more of an idea of putting together the right crop, the correct size, the right color, the correct timing uh, for all of these different things, whether you're growing bedding plants, potted color, cut flowers, fruits and vegetables. Uh, you need to know your market. And since I'm most familiar with the floral market, I, I talk about flowers primarily. And uh, one of the things is our culture, the giving and receiving of flowers it, uh, promotes immediate happiness. How many people would not want to receive flowers? I don't believe you. I don't like cut flowers. You don't like cut flowers. You don't want to receive a flower. You, okay. <laughs> They die in a week, okay, all right. But, so you'd rather get, you'd rather get a fresh fruit bouquet than a, a dozen roses. Okay. But flowers have a long-term positive effect on moods and flowers have been used for intimate connections for a long time. And flowers are the sharing, um, symbol of sharing in our culture. Other things that we need to think about are um, local campaigns. I thought I skipped a slide. When looking at the uh, plant material, it's pretty important to pay attention to those that are in leadership. You know, I've made some comments about things like uh, the Pantone industry. Pantone, all they do is sell colors. And for those of you that have paid attention, what is the 2012 Pantone color of the year? Tangerine, Tangerine orange. orange. Okay. And I think if you go to this places like Target and stuff like that, you go look at the housewares and stuff, you're going to see tangerine orange everywhere. Um, but the wire services are going to help you know what's, what's going to be coming. Uh, Martha Stewart, in and out of prison, seems to have an impact. Um, <laughs> national conferences, your brokers, uh, pay attention to what's going on in the market. Other uh, things of, of credit are local campaigns. And most states have a local campaign of such. Ours in Colorado, and in fact for the Rocky Mountain West, is Plant Select. And it's a program where um, our department, Denver Botanical Gardens, and the Green Industries of Colorado have come together to promote uh, good quality plants for the high plains and in fact when I shop on, uh, for my own perennials and blooming plants for my garden I go to the plant select table first. Um, advertising. How much money do you spend on advertising? Well if you're a wholesale grower you're not going to advertise to the local consumer you're going to focus on the trade shows, magazines, and do a lot of direct marketing working with brokers whereas your retailer Print, uh, e-commerce, um, Facebook, Twitter, all of those things are something that you need to learn how to use at, along with radio and television. If you watch the evening news uh, out of Denver, who's the big marketing um, doing gardening promo right now on the evening news? It's O'Toole's, right? Of course, in, if you were, watch other channels, it's other things. So for the wholesalers, uh, Trade shows, local industries, the Ohio Florist Association uh, is the biggest one in the country. It meets in July in Columbus, Ohio. The biggest one in the Rocky Mountain West, of course, is ProGreen. Other things, types of promotional programs that have, that have grown out of the industry, for instance, the National Poinsettia Day, which uh, was established on December 12th, which was the date that uh, Joel Poinsett uh, passed away. And uh, the Ecke family established Poinsettia Day with an act of Congress. And they even have a Poinsettia Bowl now, who was pretty much started by Paul Ecke III, who is one of your fellow, soon to be fellow alumnists from this department. So you're supposed to 
recognize poinsettia day I want to spend a little bit about point of purchase sales because horticulture majors typically don't get a lot of information on retailing point of pur purchase sales or pop materials um, is um, we all are exposed to it things that you to draw you to a product line um, increased sales for the product uh, sales uh, the, the silent salesman and they're supposed to link a company message or information when the person is not there to uh, present it. One of the uh, point of sales products that uh, is, is famous in Colorado is the Hardy Boy logo. And um, when Al Jerez created the Hardy Boy logo, this is, he actually was looking at his own son, Dan, who gave us our tour, running around the greenhouse, and that's where they came up with that logo. And uh, according to Debbie Borden-Miller, who's the sales manager, it reinforces that Hardy Boy name. And when somebody shops in the garden center and is familiar with um, higher quality materials, they look for that red logo. And in fact, I've had other garden centers complain to me that if it's not in a red flat, they can't sell it. Because the red, red, flat, red flat with a white interior, uh, the uh, Welby, Welby Greenhouses is actually uh, trademarked that um, look. So they want to see the Hardy Boy all the way through their program from the wholesaler all the way through the retailer so people can recognize that. Other marketing taglines, uh, Simply Beautiful is a creation of Anna Ball, of Ball Horticulture. Um, Anna um, uh, is um, the current CEO of Ball Horticulture and, and she created the Simply Beautiful product line uh, for garden centers and it's a message that um, they're working with trial ground material. Uh, Ball Horticulture is one of our biggest sponsors for our uh, annual trial grounds um, and they have trial grounds all over the country and they try to promote um, the Simply Beautiful garden and working with uh, HGTV, Weather Channel, and consumer marketing. Promotional materials, um, organizations like Proven Winners. Uh, Proven Winners is a marketing campaign and you'll see in all the gardening magazines, uh, Southern Living Magazine, um, Sunset Magazine, um, all the, the popular gardens, you'll see uh, logos like Proven Winners and the, the national marketing campaigns then drive that product all the way through the systems to banners and promotional materials and point of purchase products. These are some point of purchase products from another program um, where you've got uh, banners, for instance, this would be a cart banner, uh, buttons for your employees to wear, uh, hang tags for the baskets, um, all the way through logos and, and uh, one of the biggest things that they've done in the paint industry is to sell uh, concepts put together so you you can know how to match your colors and uh, know what colors go which with with materials um, and also with opportunities to do some personal branding. Uh, P. Allen Smith uh, in Arkansas he seems to be the guru of just about everything to the point of nausea um, <laughs> but um, you know, using a pro person like that to help promote your materials and drive it all the way through the system. Now, point of, per point of uh, purchase materials, um, actually organizations like horticulture printers hires writing experts who have backgrounds in horticulture. That's one of the reasons why uh, we have technical writing, because how much space do you have on that tag? And one of the first things people say to me is, well, the, the letter on that tag is upside down. Is it upside down? It's not upside down because if you go in there and you see this uh, logo as you're walking up to the bench, you pull the tag down and you can read it. Another critical thing in point of purchase materials, this is one of the biggest concepts that they've ever come up with, is the snap label. And that actually slips into a slot on a blow molded pot so it doesn't pull out. 
and a blow molded pots um, where they can actually uh, put the point of purchase material and brand the pot. If you were to go out and buy a pot of perennials today in a lavender colored pot, where did it come from? Gully Greenhouse. Okay, branding. Okay, uh, poinsettias. Uh, poin these are um, most every company that that markets propagation materials makes point of purchase materials available that you can download. Like for instance, the Ecke family uh, has these on their websites, and you could just click on this and download it and take it to your sign manufacturer, put your own um, um, branding logo on it. Um, to market your plants and put your own price. Um, also fundraisers, fundraising forms and, and for uh, poinsettias right now the biggest market for a local grower is to sell to an organization that's going to use the plants for fundraising and promotes their materials and for instance one of the biggest things to do is to not even sell a plant but to sell a coupon for a plant. So that Cub Scout, Boy Scout choir member, soccer team, softball person, they don't even sell the material, they just sell a coupon and they take that coupon into the store and what happens? Well yes, they get their plant that they bought the coupon for, hopefully they buy more product and they've also generated somebody to cross the thresh threshold into their business. So that's something...